So Rudy Giuliani now admits that he lied. He lied about Georgia state election workers, Shea Moss and Ruby Freeman, in the process, endangering their livelihood and their lives. What's in store for Rudy now? Let's talk about that, because justice matters. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. So friends, Donald Trump's former lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, just admitted in a court filing that he lied. He lied about Georgia state election workers, Shea Moss and Ruby Freeman. Before we turn to the new reporting, will you indulge me just 30 seconds of housekeeping? As you may know, here at Justice Matters, we are an all volunteer operation up and running seven days a week, posting a legal analysis video every day and we couldn't do it without your support. So if you're interested in more formally supporting our all-volunteer efforts, our mission, our content, please feel free to come on over to patreon.com. You can sign up to become a patron, and if you do, I will send you some Team Justice and Justice Matters stickers and a personal handwritten note of thanks. And I wanna say thank you to the many of you who have come over to Patreon and are supporting our efforts. We couldn't do it without you. Now, let's turn to the new reporting about Rudy's lies, lies that in a very real sense endangered the lives of two Georgia state election workers. And friends, I'm gonna try my best to get through this new reporting without my blood boiling. Let's see how I do. This from the New York Times, headline, Giuliani admits to false statements about Georgia election workers. And that article begins, Rudolph Giuliani has conceded that while acting as a lawyer for former President Donald Trump, he made false statements by asserting that two Georgia election workers had mishandled ballots while counting votes in Atlanta during the 2020 election. The concession by Giuliani came in court papers filed on Tuesday night as part of a defamation lawsuit that the two workers, Ruby Freeman, and Shea Moss had brought against him in federal district court in Washington, D.C. in December 2021. The suit accuses Mr. Giuliani and others of promoting a video that purported to show Ms. Freeman and Ms. Moss, who are mother and daughter, of manipulating ballots while working at the State Farm Arena for the Fulton County Board of Elections. In a two-page declaration, Mr. Giuliani acknowledged that he had in fact made the statements about Ms. Freeman and Ms. Moss that led to the filing of the suit and that the remarks carry meaning that is defamatory per se. He also admitted that his statements were actionable and false and that he no longer disputed the factual elements of liability the election workers had raised in their suit. Michael Gottlieb, a lawyer for Ms. Freeman and Ms. Moss, said that Mr. Giuliani's declaration conceded that his clients had honorably performed their civic duties in the 2020 presidential election in full compliance with the law and the allegations of election fraud that he, Giuliani, and former President Trump made against them have been false since day one. Although Fulton County and Georgia officials immediately debunked the accusations, Mr. Giuliani kept promoting them, ultimately comparing the women, both of whom are black, to drug dealers, and calling during a hearing with Georgia state legislators for their homes to be searched. And friends, as if Rudy's lies weren't enough, Mr. Trump invoked Ms. Freeman's name 18 times during a phone call with Brad Raffensperger, the Georgia Secretary of State, on January 2nd, 2021. You remember the call, friends, where Donald Trump told Raffensperger, just find me 11,780 votes and corruptly declare me the winner of the election in Georgia. 
And Donald Trump, in furtherance of that criminal ask, that criminal demand of Raffensperger, raised Ms. Freeman's name 18 times, asserting these false allegations of misconduct, of election fraud by Ms. Freeman. Remember what Ms. Freeman had to say about that? Quote, I've lost my name. I've lost my reputation. Ms. Freeman testified to the House January 6th committee, adding, as her voice rose with emotion, do you know how it feels to have the President of the United States target you? So friends, what should happen now to Rudy Giuliani for lying about, defaming, endangering, and damn near ruining the lives of Georgia election workers, Shea Moss and Ruby Freeman? Well, first of all, in the civil suit that those two women brought against Rudy Giuliani for defamation, I hope they take that sad little liar for every penny he's got. And then, just as importantly, I hope Rudy Giuliani makes an appearance as a marquee defendant in District Attorney Fawny Willis's prosecution of Georgia state election crimes. Because remember, friends, DA Willis notified Rudy Giuliani that he is a target of the Fulton County Grand Jury's criminal investigation of Georgia state election crimes. So, yes, Rudy's name should and I suspect will end up on the wrong side of the V, state of Georgia versus Rudy Giuliani. Because justice matters. Friends, as always, please stay safe, please stay tuned, and I look forward to talking with you all again tomorrow.